The ocean has always been a place of fear, ignorance, and myth for the longer part of human existence. But these days we're discovering so many new things about the unrestrained waters that we didn't know years ago. Thanks to sea drones that can dive deep or research agencies like the NOAA, here are the most amazing facts about the ocean. About 94% of the Earth's wildlife is found in the ocean. With so much going on well below the surface, it's easy to forget that the oceans are teeming with life. 94% of life is aquatic, according to the USA Science and Engineering Festival. This means those of us who live on land are part of a very, very small minority. The sun makes the ocean blue. The ocean is blue because water absorbs colors in the red part of the light spectrum. The ocean acts like a sun filter, which leaves behind colors in the blue part of the light spectrum for us to see, which is also why the sky is blue. The loudest sound ever recorded was made by an iceberg. So in 1997, the NOAA captured one of the loudest sounds ever recorded, which they named the bloop. The sound was loud enough to be picked up by sensors over 3,000 miles away. Originally, researchers noted that the nature of the sound made it seem like it came from an animal, although no known animal exists that is large enough to make that sound. After 15 years, the NOAA concluded that the noise came from an ice quake, which is when seismic activities cause a break in frozen ground. However, many people still question this conclusion, and the bloop is the source of many conspiracy theories to this day. There are over 3 million shipwrecks on the ocean floor. From the Titanic to Christopher Columbus's Santa Maria, the oceans are home to around 3 million shipwrecks, according to the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. And because there's so many shipwrecks on the ocean floor, there are more historic artifacts under the sea than in all the world's museums. Thanks to the millions of shipwrecks, the ocean houses countless treasures and artifacts. National Geographic estimates that there are more treasures on the bottom of the ocean than in all the world's museums combined. There is enough gold in the ocean for each human to have 9 pounds of it. There's around 20 million tons of gold dispersed through the oceans. It is, however, diluted pretty much to a pulp. Its concentration is only a few parts per trillion, according to the National Ocean Service. The ocean floor also has undissolved gold embedded in it, but it is not cost effective to mine it. However, if the ocean's gold were equally distributed among every person on Earth, we'd each receive 9 pounds of it. The biggest waterfall on Earth is in the ocean. The tallest waterfall you're going to see on land is Angel Falls in Venezuela, which has a drop of over 3,200 feet, but that's nothing compared to the Denmark Strait Cataract, which is an underwater waterfall between Greenland and Iceland, formed by the temperature difference in the water on either side of the strait. When the cold water from the east hits the warmer water from the west, it flows underneath the warm water with a drop of 11,500 feet, according to the National Ocean Service. The flow rate of the waterfall is more than 123 million cubic feet per second which is 50,000 times that of Niagara Falls. More people have been to the moon than the Marianas Trench. In human history, one dozen people have set foot on the moon, but just three people have managed to make it to the Marianas Trench because of the extreme conditions there. James Cameron in 2012 reached the bottom of the Marianas Trench, becoming only the second person in history to pull off such a feat. But the dive was unsustainable. He was forced to surface after just a few hours of study. We've been able to spend far longer periods of time in space and a lot more than two people have pulled it off. The largest living structure in the world isn't an enormous copse of trees or even a massive fungus. It's the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia. The reef spreads out over an area of 133,000 square miles and it's so huge it can actually be seen from outer space. The ocean is responsible for 70% of our oxygen. Most of the oxygen in our atmosphere comes from tiny marine plants in the ocean, specifically phytoplankton, kelp, and algal plankton. Scientists estimate they're responsible for around 70% of the atmosphere's oxygen, according to National Geographic. 91% of all ocean creatures have been undiscovered because so little of the oceans has been explored. It's currently estimated that 91% of the species that exist under the ocean have yet to be discovered, according to a 2011 study published in PLOS Biology. The most remote spot on Earth is called Point Nemo. Found in the Pacific Ocean, according to the NOAA, it's about 1,670 miles from land, and it's aptly named after the character in Jules Verne's famous book, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. 
every year, millions of sharks meet up at a spot called the White Shark Cafe. The spot is located in the northeast between Hawaii and Baja, California in the Pacific Ocean, and it's an area of seasonal aggregation for the adult great white shark. The most notable change from coastal forays to the deep sea is that the white sharks engage in rapid oscillating diving patterns, or bouncing dives, when they reach the cafe. These dives have V-shapes. Sharks dive at night in 100 to 200 meter depths and immediately return back up.